been here and you found Theology Over Easy, the Bible, it's our book. If you took all of the references and echoes of Scripture out of the Book of Common Prayer, there would be nothing left except maybe the table of contents and the instructions. Everything about the faith of Christians rises or falls on the trustworthiness of this book. And therein lies the rub, right? For the next several weeks, I'm going to explore with you a few basic questions. In what sense is the Bible authoritative in the first place? How can it appropriately be understood and interpreted? And how can its authority be brought to bear in the real world, in the life of the church, and in our mission and ministry in the world? But before I jump in, let's first acknowledge that the shallow debates about the Bible's authority that go on at water coolers and social media simply won't do. Simplistic assertions like, the Bible says it, I believe it, and the counter assertions like, you read it literally, we read it contextually, trivialize the whole subject. As is often the case, the truth about the Bible's authority is somewhere in the middle of those two things. I don't know if you know this, but at their ordinations, all clergy swear that they believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary for salvation. This means that the Bible contains the Word of God, not the words of God, and that's an important distinction. Christians don't believe God wrote the Bible. We believe the Bible is the Word of God, which means that God inspired its human authors to write it, and that God speaks to us through it. Second, the Bible contains all things necessary for salvation. It does not contain all things necessary. It doesn't tell you how to swim, although there is a spectacular story of a whole army, horses and riders, being thrown into the sea. It doesn't give instructions for how people should organize themselves politically, although there are a lot of stories of political maneuvering. And there can be no doubt that the many stories and commands in the Bible have definite political implications. Not least being that call, to call Jesus Lord means by definition Caesar is not. God caused the Holy Scriptures to be written for our learning, as one of our prayers goes, and here we are thousands of years later, still learning and discovering God's voice in new and fresh ways in its pages. See you next week on Theology Over Easy.